You are getting sleepy. So I received a request to talk a little bit about, not necessarily this guy, but sort of similar to this, only uh, an actual critter. This is not real. Believe it or not, if you couldn't tell, Scolopendra gigantea, the Peruvian yellow-legged centipede, or the Amazonian giant centipede. It's big. It's bigger than this guy. So, although, although this guy is considered the largest species on average, there is one other that has been found to be even larger, clocking it at over 15 inches in length. That was the African centipede, or, and I'm going to have fun with this word, uh, Archospirostroneptius gigas, or gigas, jiggy. It's big. These critters are large and they don't take guff from no one. They are easily agitated and very defensive and they will even go on the offensive against other arthropods, which is one of their primary sources of food, as well as small mammals, reptiles, and even people if you get in the way, although that's not going to be their preferred thing because even though these critters are big, we're a little bigger. On average, these guys are about 10 inches or so in length, with some of them getting over 12 inches. A trait found in this genus is that they will have either 21 or 23 segments. Each of those segments has one pair of legs. That's how you distinguish a centipede from a millipede. A millipede has two legs per segment. A centipede has one pair of legs per segment. One order of centipedes, the Geophilomorpha, that are known to have up to 350 legs total. That's a lot of leg. Your average centipede species is gonna have somewhere between 30 and 50 legs. There are no centipedes that have exactly 50 pairs of legs. There are no 100-legged centipedes. The name is a lie, much like the cake. And because arthropods don't like to live by the rules of us mere humans, the male millipedes of many species, if not all species, will have one segment up near the front that only has one pair of legs and instead of the normal two. Those are used for mating, so they could do the lovey-dovey millipede kind of thing. <laughs> Another thing that separates millipedes from centipedes is that centipedes are pretty fast buggers. That extra pair of legs on each segment for the millipedes can slow them down, though it does make them really good diggers. In our friend Gigantia, those first pair of legs are modified into sort of pincher, mouth party sort of things, and those, and those are called verpicules. Those are what inject venom into their prey. That venom is pretty nasty. It's a nice cocktail of acetylcholine, histamine, serotonin, proteases, and just for good measure, a cardiodepressant. That nice cocktail of stuff is pretty nasty. It's, it's gonna be fatal to pretty much any of the small critters that it chows down on and, and, and injects its venom into. It is toxic to humans. You know, that was a list of nasty stuff there though it's not known to be fatal. Okay, these guys don't have very good vision. They don't see where well, they rely on touch and chemoreception. That's smelling and tasting through their antennae. Uh, that's how they, they experience the world. Whether you think they're creepy or adorable, the fact remains they're very important parts of our ecosystem. And unfortunately, neither are studied very well. There's a lot of critters and not a lot of people doing work on them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have more questions, want to know more about this critter or any other ones, post them in comments, send me a message, and I will get right on that because creepy crawly critters are awesome. Thank you much. See you next time.